Here, let us see how to prove that root 2 is an irrational number. So, all we have to do is find the square root of 2 by the long division method. So, let us go and find the root of 2 or the square root of 2 by the long division method. Now, we just have to divide 2 by a number or by a square of a number, not just by a number. So, the smallest number or the smallest square that can divide 2 is 1 because 1 square is 1 and if you consider 2, 2 square is 4 which cannot divide 2. So, therefore, 1 into 1 gives us 1. Now, subtract 1. Now, we need to get this quotient 1 down here and add 1 and 1. So, we get 2. Now, we don't have any other number next to 2. So, therefore, let us place a decimal point and add pairs of zeros here. Why pairs of zeros? Because we are finding the square root of 2 and we need to take down only pairs of numbers. So, let us add 3 pairs of zeros here. We may need more. Let us go to that later. Now, let us take this one down. So, we get 100 here. Now, next step is to write a number next to 2 and multiply whatever we write with that number itself. Say for example, we have 2 there. So, if you write 1, we need to multiply 21 by 1, which gives us 21. I mean, 21 is smaller than 100. There are bigger numbers than 21, which are still smaller than 100. So, therefore, let us try different numbers. So, 22 into 2 is 44. 23 into 3 is 69. 24 into 4 is 96. 96 is the closest. And 25 into 5 is 125, which is way too bigger than 100 here. So, let us write 4 and 4 here. So, we need to obviously place a decimal point here. So, 24 into 4 is 96. So, now let us subtract 100 minus 96, which is 4. So, we need to pull down the next couple of zeros, so which gives us 400. And we need to add 4 to this 24. So, we get 28. Now, the same procedure what we did in the first two steps follows on and on and on. So, what we have to do is find a number or write a number next to 8 such that it becomes 2. Say, for example, we write 1 here next to 8. It becomes 281 and we have to multiply 281 by 1 itself. So, it is very evident that 281 into 1 is the number that is less than 400. Because if we, if we write 2 in the place of 1, we get 282 into 2, which is clearly greater than 400. So, therefore, 281 into 1 gives us 281 and 400 minus 281 is 119. And 119 is clearly lesser than 281. Or in fact, we need to add this 1 here. So, we get 282. So, the smallest number we can get here is 2821, which is way bigger than 119. So, therefore, we need to pull down another couple of zeros here. So, that gives us 11900. 0, 0. So, now, the number that is appropriate to be multiplied with is 4. Because multiplying 2822 uh, into 2 gives us a very smaller number than 11,900. So, the closest to 11,900 can be obtained when we multiply 282, 4 into 4. That gives us 11296. Now, subtracting 11900 0, 0, and 11296, we get 604. And add 4 here. So, we get 2828. 2, 
So the smallest number that we can write here is 28281, which is way greater than 604. So let us add another couple of zeros and pull them down here. So we get 60400. Now the suitable number is 28282 into 2 gives us 56564, which is the closest to 60400. So now let us subtract 60400 and 56564, which gives us 3836. And let us add 2 here. So 28284. So again, 3836 is way smaller than 28284 forget 282841 so now we need to again add another couple of zeros here and pull these down so we get 383600 and the suitable number would be one time so 282841 into 1 gives us 282841 so now subtracting these we get 100759. Let us add one here. We get 282842. So now again, this is smaller than 282842. So therefore, let us again add another couple of zeros and pull down to get 1007500. Now, the number that is suitable to multiply is 3 here. So 282843 into 3 gives us 8485269. Subtracting this, we get 1590631. Let us add 3 here. We get 2828426. Now we need to add another zeros, another couple of zeros because it is again smaller than 2828426. So 2828426, we need to write a 5 here and multiply the same with 5 to get 14142132.5. Now subtracting this, we get 17. Six one one seven seven five. Let us add the five here. We get two eight two eight four two seven. So now from this we can clearly see that this is never going to stop. We are not going to get a perfect number which can get us a remainder of zero. So we will never stop and this division is never going to stop. So therefore, the quotient here, which is 1.4142135, is going to go on and on and on. So therefore, 1.4142135 dot 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 that shows it keeps on going on. So we can say that this is non-terminating as well as non-recurring. So therefore, square root of 2 is indeed an irrational number.